In this video, we are going to be completing the square to write equations of circles. Recall that the standard equation of a circle is at the top, and if you notice that the equation below that is not in standard form, and it actually is an equation of a circle, you just can't tell because it's not written in standard form. And so the reason we want our equations in standard form is so that we can tell what the radius and the center of our circle is going to be. And if we're given an equation like the one I have here, you cannot tell just by looking at the equation. So we are going to be doing completing the square. And you just never know what kind of equation you're going to have and what it's going to look like. And so I'm going to give you some steps to kind of get all of our equations to look similar at the, at the beginning. And so the first step to completing the square is to get all of your x variables together and all your y variables together. And I would suggest, highly suggest, absolutely suggest that you put all of your x variables first and then all your y variables second. And so that's all I'm going to do right now. I'm not going to do any fancy algebra. I'm just going to move some variables around. And so I'm going to move the negative 20x next to the x squared and the 4y next to the y squared. And then I kept 68 where it is. The next step after this is to move any numbers that you have to the other side. So keep all your variables on one side and then move all your numbers. So you might have multiple numbers. In this case, we only have one. And so, and it's a positive 68. And in order to move it to the other side, I'm going to subtract 68. So my equation becomes this now. From here, I'm going to highlight the number in front of my x, and I'm going to highlight the number in front of my y, because they are going to help us get the equation of our circle later. And so the number in front of x, I have it in red. It's negative 20, and I'm going to use red as my color of choice for my numbers associated with my x. And then the number in front of my y is 4, and it's in blue. And I'm going to use that color as my color of choice for my numbers associated with Y and my other examples. So I'm really sorry if you're colorblind and you can't see these colors. From here, I am going to start completing the square. And so I'm going to take the number in front of my X, which is negative 20, and I'm going to divide that number by 2. And I get negative 10. And I'm going to put a box around that number because that number is going to be very important. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing with the number in front of y, which is 4. And I'm going to do 4 divided by 2, and that's going to equal 2, and I'm going to put a box around that number. This step will happen every single time, but you need to get your equation to, be, to look like this first before you can do this next step. Okay. Now, the next step is a little confusing, so I'm just going to show it to you and explain it to you as I go. I'm going to start writing the equation of my circle. And so I'm going to do parentheses x, and then the number that was in the box, which was negative 10, it was associated with my x. I'm going to literally just put it in parentheses with my x, and I'm going to close parentheses squared. And then plus, because that's what the equation of a circle is, plus parentheses, and then now I'm going to start my y. y, and I'm going to use the number in my box that was with my y, which was 2 and I'm going to put it in parentheses, and I'm going to close that parentheses squared, and that's going to equal, and from there, I brought down my number that was on the right-hand side, which was negative 68. If you have multiple numbers, you might bring them down, or you could simplify it down before you get to this step. It doesn't matter. Um, so, but I have negative 68, and then from there, I'm going to add the number that was in the, this box, negative 10 squared. I'm going to square that number. Make sure you put parentheses around that number, and I'm going to add the next number that was in the box 2, and I'm going to square that. And from there, all I'm going to do is simplify the right-hand side of the equation, and everything else stays the same. So this part of the equation stays the same, and negative 68 plus negative 10 squared is 100, so that's where I got 100 from, and then 2 squared is 4, and then I'm going to add those numbers together to get my final answer, my this will be the equation of the circle. And from here, you should be able to identify the center and the radius, and we're not really going to go into that right now. You should already know how to do that. Okay, so let's do another example. Let's see if you can do it. Okay, try to do as much as you can without me. So stop the video, try to work it out, see if you get what I get. All right, next example. 
So as you can see, this is not in standard form. So the first step of my equation is to get all my x's together and all my y's together. So put x's first, y second. So I have x squared plus 20x plus y squared plus 8y, and then I'm going to leave 107 where it is. And then in my next step, I'm going to move the 107 as a positive 107 to move that to the other side. I have to subtract 107. So that's what I'm doing here. And now I'm going to highlight the number in front of x and the number in front of y. And in this case, our number in front of x is 20, and it's a positive 20. And then the number in front of y is a positive 8. And so now I'm ready to start completing the square. And this step, like I said, you do this every time. So I'm going to take the number in front of x, I'm going to divide that number by 2. And I'm going to get 10, and I'm going to put a box around that number, because that number is important. And I'm going to do the same thing with the y, the number in front of the y, which is 8. I'm going to take that number, divide by 2, and get 4. And then I'm going to put a box around that, because that number is important also. And I'm going to start writing the equation of my circle. So x comes first, so parentheses x, and I'm taking the number 10 and I'm putting it in the parentheses. Notice I didn't change the sign, I didn't do anything, it was a positive 10, I'm keeping it a positive 10, close my parentheses squared, plus parentheses y, it's a positive 4, so I put the positive 4 in parentheses, I close my parentheses, squared equals, I brought down my, my number here, negative 107, negative 107, and I'm going to add the 10 squared, and I'm going to add the 4 squared. And here you don't necessarily have to have parentheses because they are both positive integers. And then I'm going to simplify down the right-hand side of my equation. And so I'll have negative 107 plus 100 plus 16. And then that's going to equal 9. And so this is my final answer. This would be the equation of the circle. And hopefully from here you can identify the center and the radius of this circle. All right, last example. Let's see if you can do this without me. So pause the video, try to do it, see if you get the same answer that I do. You might be able to do it in less steps, and that's awesome, but I'm still going to show you every single step. Okay, so the first step to completing the square to make this into the equation of a circle, I'm going to get all my x's together and all my y's together. X's come first, y's come second. So I have x squared minus 18x plus y squared minus 12y plus 92 equals 0. Once again, i got to get all my variables on one side and all my numbers on one side, and it's a positive 92. So I am going to have to subtract 92 to move it to the other side. And then from here, I'm going to highlight the number in front of x, and I'm going to highlight the number in front of y. And in this case, it's a negative 18 in front of x, and it's a negative 12 in front of y. Okay, now I'm ready to complete the square. From here, I'm going to divide negative 18 by 2, and I get negative 9. I'm going to put a box around that because that number is important. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the number in front of y, which is negative 12. I'm going to divide that number by 2, and I'm going to get negative 6. And I'm going to put a box around that because that number is also important. And now I'm going to start writing the equation of my circle. So x comes first, and then once again, I'm literally going to take the number that was associated with my x, which was negative 9, and I'm going to put it with my x. I don't change the sign, so it's x minus 9, close parentheses squared, plus parentheses y. The number with the y was negative 6. I'm going to put negative 6 here, minus 6. I don't change that sign at all. And so parentheses y minus 6, close parentheses squared, equals, and then I brought my negative 92 down. And then I'm going to add negative 9 squared, make sure you put parentheses around that negative 9, plus negative 6 squared, make sure that you put parentheses around that negative 6 as well. And then all I'm going to do from here is simplify the right-hand side of the equation. So negative 92 plus, well, negative 9 squared will be 81, positive 81, and negative 6 squared will be positive 36. And then I add those, and then I get my equation of my circle. And from here, you should be able to identify the center and the radius. And if this is confusing to you, I understand. Maybe watch it for a second time, and remember, I am always here to help you.